No. If I allow the rod to fall down, it will fall down by rotation about the point B. And the point A will move in a circular path and the rod fall down here. The radius of the circular path is the red length of the rod. Now if I allow the rod to fall down, then it will strike the ground here. If I ask the question, then what is the velocity with which the end A of the rod strike the ground. We can solve the problem with the help of conservation of total mechanical energy under gravity. Now the potential energy of the rod here is given by U is equal to mass of the rod acceleration due to gravity and the height of the center of mass of the rod from ground. If the rod is uniform, then the height of center of mass is L by 2 from the ground. When the rod fall down, it will strike the ground and its total potential energy will be converted into kinetic energy. We have taken here the reference level of potential energy, the ground. So kinetic energy becomes half moment of inertia into angular velocity the square. Where moment of inertia of the rod about the point B is given by I equal to one third m l square and V equal to l omega means omega equal to V by l. Now if I equate potential energy and kinetic energy then we get here K is equal to E or half I omega square is equal to mg L by 2 or I omega square is equal to mg L or one third m L square and for omega square v square by l square is equal to mg l or v square equal to 3 g l therefore v equal to root over 3 g l. So velocity of the end is root over 3 g l. Again the velocity of the point B is 0. So if it asks that the velocity of the midpoint then velocity of midpoint will be root over 3 g l by 2. Velocity of any point can be calculated here. The velocity of the end point is V, where the length of the rod is L. Velocity of the point P is 0, 